What's up guys, how are you doing? Today we're making another cocktail from New Orleans. And when I say New Orleans and cocktail in the same sentence, I'm sure you will think immediately of a Sazerac or of your curry, maybe a Ramos Gin Fizz or even a Hurricane. But 99% of you I'm sure will never think of the one that we're gonna make today. But that's about to change. If you guys never heard of the cocktail de la Louisiane, the little obscure brother of the Vieux Carré, stick around. It is a delicious sip. Go grab your mixing glass. You're about to add another delicious cocktail to your repertoire. Let's go. All right, so the La Louisiane cocktail, also sometimes going by the name of a La Louisiane or a La Louisiane cocktail, but those are just three different names for the same recipe. It was the house cocktail of the La Louisiane Creole restaurant in New Orleans that opened up in 1881, but we had to wait until 1937 for the first print of this recipe. It is my understanding that the specs I'm going to share with you today are the original ones. I say that because over the years the specs changed a lot, but the modern specs are not as good, in my opinion, as the original ones. So that's the reason why I'm sharing those with you today. So for the ingredients, what you're going to need is first, rye whiskey. In the original specs, we're only using 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of rye. So if you can get 100 proof rye, that will be even better because you want that spirit to shine through the other ingredients. I didn't have 100 proof rye at home, so I'm using High West Double Rye, which is 92 proof, but it's a blend of younger rye and more mature one. So the younger rye gives a lot of spice and bite to the spirit, while the more mature rye just round things up, adds more mellowness to the whiskey. So still, even though the proof is lower than recommended, it still shines really well in that cocktail. Then we're also going to need Sweet Vermouth. I'm using Coca di Torino because I love the chocolate and cola notes in it. I think it goes really well with the other ingredients. Then we're also going to need some Benedictine, Absinthe, and Pechot Bitters. So now we're ready to make a cocktail. So we're gonna use a mixing glass. It's a stirred drink and we're gonna pour first three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of our whiskey. Then we're gonna add the same amount of sweet vermouth, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils. Yet again, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of Benedictine. Then we're gonna add two dashes of Pechel bitters. When I'm using a dasher bottle like this, I always double up the amount, so I'm gonna go for four dashes. And we're gonna do the same with the absinthe. And now we can fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. And once you feel it's cold and properly diluted, you can strain it into your favorite chilled Nick and Nora. And for the garnish, two cherries on a pick. And I know I will receive some comments, it's either one or three cherries, two is bad luck, but I feel like one is not enough in this case, and three just looks like too much on this tiny glass, so I went for two, but you do you. I think we can agree on that. So that's it guys, this is how we make the cocktail de la Louisiane. Now, let's give it a try. Mm. This is such a delicious cocktail, guys. For real, we don't see that often enough on cocktail menus, and I don't make it often enough either. It is a great nightcap sipper, if I may categorize it that way, because it is true, it is slightly on the sweeter side, and all the herbaceousness makes it for a very nice digestive, in my opinion. But you know what? I think like we confuse often sweetness of cocktails with balance like if it's sweet it is not balanced i don't think this is accurate 
I think, in my opinion, balance is more a thing of how the ingredients work together and how in harmony they are. And here, even though it is slightly on the sweet side, it is perfectly balanced. The herbaceousness from the absinthe and the benedictine really makes of this cocktail something unique. Then the rye. In my opinion, the rye should not be the identity of this cocktail. It's more there to hold everything together with its dryness, with its bite. It really ties all these sweeter ingredients together and makes for a perfectly balanced cocktail. And when I say it is a good digestive, I think the herbs, the cola and the chocolate notes from the sweet vermouth also makes of this drink something really nice to have like after dinner. Overall, this is a beautiful cocktail i love it and i hope you can love it too so that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers